All right, you've probably, have you seen them? Have they, uh, are they in your yard They were outside yet? the building. It's crazy. Yes, they uh, are. We're talking about cicadas. Either they're crawling, either they're flying, or they're falling on you. Uh, but soon you might see a different kind. Yeah, this is part of a large art project to celebrate transformation. You might like these cicadas. WMER 2 News' Abby Isaac fills us in on the Cicada Parada. <laughs> This Upper Fells Point backyard is filled with hundreds of cicadas, but they're made of plaster. Artists and community members come and pick them up and transform them into beautiful works of art and then display them across town. Some of these I could just look at for hours. From Billie Holiday to henna tattoos. Just an intricate detail, absolutely beautiful. Even birds. It's a raven bug. And with glasses and eyebrows and feathers and the whole thing. The inspiration is limitless for a new kind of cicada taking flight in Baltimore. When you start seeing the quality of the pieces come back, you just see all the talent. Michael Bowman came up with the idea for this large-scale collaborative art project last year. Organized by the Formstone Castle Collective. It's called Cicada Parada. Celebrating the reemergence of Brood X after 17 years. So it's actually a map of Baltimore City. We've got Fort McHenry, Brewers Hill, Canton. He started with a goal of 50 bugs, but things really took off. With some support of some of our sponsors, we were able to keep it growing, and now we're up to 370 bugs. They'll be on display in Baltimore and the surrounding area. But as far out as the Pennsylvania Line, Frederick, White Marsh, the Avenue in White Marsh is going to get a bunch of them. Um, and then linthicum. I actually want to cover ours in our beer cans, so all, all aluminum cans. John Zarevitz with Union Craft Brewing also picked up a few to distribute to other businesses of the Union Collective to decorate. The themes of transformation and reemergence hitting home for a lot of the artists and business owners taking part. We've all been kind of hiding underground for the last year and, uh, and now we're kind of crawling out of our holes and coming back to life. Um, and so I, I really think it's a beautiful expression of, of uh, getting back out there into the world. The bugs will be up through Labor Day and then he hopes to be able to turn the project into a fundraiser. In Upper Fells Point, Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News.